Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another movie breakdown where today we'll be breaking down the 65 movies second trailer. Personally for me, it's my favourite trailer from the movie and shows a more adventurous side of this movie rather than deep horror like the first one. If you're excited, be sure to press that like button and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel should you want more Jurassic and dinosaur related content here on YouTube. But enough with the boring intro, it's time to get into and break down all of the brand new scenes from this brand new trailer. The trailer opens up with an alternate look of Pilot Mills' spaceship crashing into a dark ancient earth. The trailer then makes it seem as if Mills became unconscious due to either the G's as he enters the earth's gravity or potentially being knocked out due to the crash. Either way, it seems as if he wakes up the next morning to explore his surroundings and understand his current situation. Half the ship is also missing, suggesting that the passengers on the ship were in that half, including the protagonist called Koa. Mills starts to explain to Koa that he was a pilot of the ship that crashed, where up next, we get some cool cinematic shots of this planet Earth and how Mills and Koa attempt to survive it via drinking water and exploring the local lands for potentially food or resources. The trailer keeps cutting back to Mills talking to Koa and explaining that there's something out there, something alien. As we know, this is in regard to the prehistoric creatures that are roaming this planet, dinosaurs. And finally, we get to see the skull that was used in loads of promo art and posters for this movie a skull of what we assume to be a Tyrannosaurid that's been left to rot away. Next to it, we can also see that there's a geyser, or geyser, however you want to pronounce it, that shoots water straight up into the sky. This effect potentially knocks Mills onto the ground as it seems like in this scene, he's next to the fossil and has slightly wet droplets on his forehead. So, this suggests, but does not confirm, that he was either shook or knocked over by this sudden gush of water. As we know, geysers tend to release hot or warm water into the air, enough to generate a smog or shield of smoke. We can actually see this in the next scene where a large theropod carnivore was emerging from the smoke before the title card of Humans Discovered Earth pops up on screen, which is actually quite interesting. This relates back to the previous title card saying 65 million years ago, meaning that this story is rewriting history within this universe and setting up that humanity was founded on Earth via original humans who crash landed on this planet from a different planet during the age of the dinosaurs. Slightly confusing, but bear with me. Who knows, maybe they were also at fault for the asteroid that impacted the planet that settled the fate of the dinosaurs all those millions of years ago. If that's true, there's a pretty cool and interesting story at hand here. After this, we have one of our first full body reveals of the major theropod carnivore, and with this, it's still really hard to identify what species it is. Let's make no big deal about it and get it out of the way right now. But I am sure that somehow this creature will be called a T-Rex or potentially a Giganotosaurus just because of the way it looks and the fact that this movie is supposed to set place on Earth. So I know some people are going to be upset with this, but again we must remember that movies take place on other universes, meaning that the events and designs are always going to be different in some way. So this creature could either be a T-Rex or a Giga, we still don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. It's also angled as if it's walking on all fours, as we can see the balance of it would be way off, and that it's also got its shoulder plate sticking out to the top of its back, as if it were on all fours as well. Either way, we hear Koa's scream during this scene, despite the fact that she does not appear. This is a bit of trailer editing to make the scene stand out just that little bit more, but this does seem to take place a few moments after the geezer shoots the water and potentially leads into that scene where we see Mills running away from the creature in the wetland looking area, similar to his current surroundings. I assume how Mills gets away is by the geezer shooting water into the face of the dinosaur, distracting it for a little bit, enough for Mills to begin to run away from this beast, as we see that the dinosaur is clearly shaking its head trying to get something off. Or potentially, I can't quite identify it, but in the background, it looks like there might be some sort of raptor dinosaur on him as well. After this, 
Another cinematic shot is shown where we come across a couple of tornadoes in the nearby area. But then our most important bit of information regarding the plot of the movie has Mills say that they must reach the escape vessel. This finally confirms to us that they are not just running around the world aimlessly and hoping to survive, but they're actually tracking down an escape pod for them to leave the planet. My best guess would probably be that this vessel broke off on impact of the ship since we see it hitting a mountain upon crash landing into Earth. So that's one of our first important plot details from this trailer. Moving on, a few shots from the first trailer are re-shown again, showing off more potential action sequences before the little Dromaeosaurid that was teased in the first trailer finally shows up a little bit more. It seems to be partially hairy, with quills going down its back, and very tiny, small enough to be able to fit inside of a log. Again, the design is far too vague to understand what creature this could be. All we know is that it somewhat fits the family of a Dromaeosaurid, the same family that consists of dinosaurs such as Velociraptor, Deinonychus and Utahraptor. And moving on, we see that food was discovered in the form of fruits, I think, as a red berry is being smushed together by Koa, either to create some food or potentially create a red looking dye. Similar to what we saw in the previous trailer, so they don't lose track of where their main camp is. Soon after this, Koa gets ready to go on a mission as she seemingly will have a character development of becoming more bold and brave throughout the entire movie, as we come across loads of scenes of her being very shy and timid, but in this scene, she seems very well put together and brave. We see some flying reptiles in the air, which once again, are quite hard to identify. These could literally range from a standard Pteranodon or Geostenbergia, or potentially even a Sungaripterus, as we see the head crest is far more prominent from this angle. This angle also shows off a larger flying reptile swooping down to claim it as its prey, adding to the roster of species that will appear in the movie. We only get a frame of it and it only really shows its feet, so we literally cannot even begin to speculate too much on what this creature might be. More emotional connection scenes are shown off between Mills and Koa, where he promises her that he needs to get them both home. It seems as if Koa doesn't really speak too much English, as she speaks broken sentences such as home, family, as if she were trying to connect the dots on what means what when Mills talks. This again suggests that there won't be too much dialogue within this movie, simply due to the language barrier. But we'll also see Koa learn some English to try and communicate with Mills. Many more action sequences are then shown off, where we have Mills in a panic and telling Koa to run assuming that he's defending her from something. Koa begins to let out a loud scream, but I am not a fan of these shots. She seems to be screaming and covering her ears. This means she's either hiding, but heard something behind her and screamed, or she's watching something bad happen to Mills without helping out. Now, when the body goes into survival mode, the human body shouldn't really be in such a shock and should be defensive and help Mills, or be able to keep silent and hide especially considering how potentially long they could have been on this planet for. Mills then gets attacked from something that pounces on him. With the green and tree-like background, this could easily be the same Dromaeosaurid that we saw earlier in the trailer after it finally managed to stalk them down. Again, this creature only really appears on screen for only a couple of frames, so it's extremely hard to identify exactly what it is. It seems to be a running pattern with this trailer. <laughs> After this, some weird liquid starts to pour out of a container that's open a jar. I don't think that it's blood, but it's more of a swampy dirty water type of thing. The next scene shows off yet another brand new creature we're yet to see so far, and that's a four-legged, semi-aquatic creature that comes face to face with Koa and leaps forward towards her on the beach. Now, as far as identifying it goes, it's again hard to say despite what we see. We can confirm it's either an Ornithosuchid or a Ryusuchid, I think that's how you say it, family of species. These creatures tend to have the famous names of Postosuchus, Caprosuchus, or if you're a Jurassic fan, Nophosaurus, but also many, many more. Not only that, but I think these creatures died out way before the Cretaceous period and dinosaurs that came to be. So what is it doing in the Cretaceous era? I simply don't know. However, the Teratosaurus or the Nophosaurus is sticking out to me the most. 
Nophosaurus typically has longer teeth, so I want to kind of cancel that out a little bit, but Teratosaurus looks like it's almost identical to the one we see in the movie's trailer. So, whilst the history of this timeline makes it a little harder to identify the species, I believe it to be a Teratosaurus. But for popular namesake, it could easily just be a different looking Postosuchus as well. Alternatively, this might even just be a dream segment from Koa, as the background is slightly out of place than to what we've already seen in the trailers. She seems to just not move when seeing the creature, and I don't know if you can tell, she's in a wide open area, so she would have been able to see it from far away. And not only that, there's nearly no way that she would survive from being pounced on by a creature like that from what we see. So this might just be a nightmare dream sequence for her, who knows. More action shots of Mills running away from something are shown before we see him happy and worried to see Koa, as if something bad happened and he couldn't believe that she is still alive. A really nice bond between the two humans. But here comes yet another important plot detail. We see Mills yelling at someone, presumably Koa, to launch the ship as we see fireballs raining from the sky behind him. Now, there are potential spoilers ahead here because I believe this theory should be true, but I believe that these meteors that are falling from the sky are part of the ones that fell from the main asteroid that eventually wiped out the dinosaurs on Earth, meaning that it's a race against time for them to get off of planet Earth as fast as possible before this extinction event occurs. This also matches the recent new synopsis that we got that I posted on Twitter, more about that later in the video. The ship seemingly gets hit by a meteor, potentially making it the end to their escape, but it seems like they finally arrive at the escape pods as, when the ship gets hit, the escape pods are shining blue and don't seem to get destroyed too much. So, I do believe that they will most likely make it off of the planet before the asteroid hits Earth. The final few scenes of the trailer shows Mills and the theropod carnivore face to face, presumably in the setting where the water is spouting from the ground. Then, more quick action shots go by, and we see the carnivore again roaring. Soon after, we then see Mills trying to calm Koa down, who seems to be having some sort of panic attack by doing breathing exercises. It seems to work, but then the trailer cuts to that beach scene that we saw earlier, and Koa being dragged down from a high place to the ground, and then dragged across the sandy beach. Now, I don't think that the creature that's in this scene is the same one as to what we saw earlier, as they come across smaller in build with a longer snout. Not only that, but we can also see its front claws, and they are not being used to walk on, suggesting that this is a bipedal dinosaur, and obviously a carnivore too. In a split frame, we can also see that she attempts to break free from the animal, but then the trailer cuts to a new release date of March 17th this movie's fifth release date change. Its previous release dates were May 13th, 2022, April 29th, 2022, April 14th, 2023, April 28th, 2023, March 10th, 2023, and now March 17th, 2023. I believe the first year-long changes were due to poor early screening receptions and problematic production of the movie. However, the most recent date change was probably not that, and was most likely to avoid clashing with the new Scream movie that will be releasing on March 10th also. Either way, the movie seems to be in a more stable condition now, and is set to release in mid-March of this year. And that's it for the trailer. Overall, this trailer was far better than the first one that we saw, and shows that there is a really good story to be told here. It seems like they crash on planet Earth, tried to get back to an escape pod that was removed when they crashed, have to survive with some weird looking dinosaurs, and now have to escape before the asteroid impacts with Earth. That seems to be the overall premise of the movie, and it does seem rather promising. I am truly excited for this movie, and of course I will be supporting it, in hope that it shows that the dinosaur movie genre is in need of more and new movies as the years go on. But here's a brand new synopsis for the movie, that's recently been released by AMC Theatres. It is as follows. 
65 is a story about a futuristic space cruiser that crash lands on a distant planet and only the captain and a young girl survive. As the two space travelers get their bearings of foreign terrain, it's revealed that the planet is actually Earth 65 million years ago, and it's full of prehistoric dinosaurs that threaten their survival. Things are further complicated when they discover a large asteroid. The asteroid is on a direct collision path with Earth and the pair must desperately reach their escape vessel as the world's extinction rapidly approaches. Now doesn't that sound pretty interesting? If you want me to cover more about this movie, feel free to press that like button and subscribe to the channel to show your support. I'm pretty interested in this movie and will try to cover more details as and when they release. But in the meantime, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.